Praise the Lord. When four or five young boys around me to beat me up, I'm going to say, ever coming. It's over. Yes, sir. My bigger brother coming. It's over. Yes. Sometimes he don't even have to fight them. I fight them myself. Yes. Because I'm a big brother. Yes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. There is nothing like a big brother around you. When things going bad, he's right here for you. And sometimes, can I talk to you about school kids? Sometimes there's a boy in the group who can really whoop your tail. I mean, big time. But when big brother comes and says, beat him up, you don't know where them strength and them fists come from. But before you know it, boy, they're grown. Thank God for big brother. You have a big brother named Jesus Christ. Depend on him. But when he come on hard, got to move. Come on, somebody. When you call upon him. When things don't look right. Like you're about to lose, I say, big brother, show up. All hell broke loose. Come on, somebody. Put your hands together for Jesus. He cares for you. He cares for me. Praise the Lord. And he said, I must tell you. I must tell you. Without me, you can do nothing. So when big brother comes, it's all over. So now that you know. Oh gosh. Praise the Lord. I know you want me to stop now. You want me to carry on? You see how our whole attitude must be? I know he cares. Yes. And our attitude must be of a, a kind heart. Yes. Amen. Because I always ready to say, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Yes. And Lord, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for leading and guiding me yeah. into all things pertaining unto godliness. I thank you. Yes. Well, the most, if not the most powerful thing is to say thank you, Lord, before you receive your blessing. This is called faith. This God said without faith, the impossible to please me. This is why to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean at your own understanding is powerful. This means in all your ways, you must acknowledge the power of God to bring your thing to pass on your behalf. We give honor and we give glory to our God. You know, when things seem to be heading into the wrong direction, you began to say, Lord, I thank you. And do it with a grateful heart. When pain began to rock your body, we could give God some thanks for the provision He made. I have a store for you. And the instruction book He gave you. I know some of you so spiritual that you won't take no pill. You're so powerful before the Lord that when headache take you, 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 you pray and leave it there. And headache is still there. But God said, listen, let me give Luke the physician idea what to give you if your faith can reach up there so take your pill when you can did I say that? First Peter chapter 2 24 who is his own self bear our sin in his own body on the tree that we been dead to sin uh oh it carries something with it huh? You who dead to sin should live unto righteousness, but whose stripe, by whose stripes you were healed. So if you not totally dead to sin, remember I try this. You can't say it again because everybody receives it. <laughs> 
Lord. So my brother and my sister, the best thing to do or the right thing to do is to say thank you, Lord. When your money isn't enough, when your pocketbook are empty, look to him. Yes. 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 All you need to do which is in glory. I want you to look in heaven and answer. Listen, are you may talk to it. I'm talking to you. I'm not giving God thanks for the problem. I'm giving God in spite of the problem. <laughs> I'm not giving God praise for my problem. I'm giving him thanks in spite of the problem. I hope I'm talking to somebody here. Every time you begin to praise God, you should never forget to praise Him for life. Because every time you wake up in the morning, He give you one more day to praise Him. Oh, Lord, I thank you for one more day to tell you thanks. Here we need to think more and more say, Father, I thank you for life. Father, it is great to be alive. Just to share your goodness. Just to tell someone, one more soul, that you are great. I want to tell somebody about your greatness. Just to tell one more soul about your righteousness. Father, I thank you for life. Because your book of instruction advises us that whatsoever their hands find to do, do it with their might. For there is no work, no device, no knowledge, no wisdom in the grave. Ecclesiastes 9 and 10. So what I thank you for the life you give me to remain here one more day. To declare your glory. To this congregation. Lord, I thank you for your grace and glory. Honor, you bestow upon me. That the glory can be seen in my life. In my lifestyle. Lord, I thank you for allowing me to show my lifestyle. Your honor. And I thank you, Lord, for your honor. You, and for those who call to be sons, thank you, so your humble servant, thank you for giving me the pleasure of submitting myself to you, that you can talk through me to them. I thank you for your grace and mercy that follow me all the days of my life, Lord, I thank you. I thank you that we can look over the hills from where it's coming to our help. For I thank you for keeping me alive. So I can give you thanks and praise one more day. Then I can call for your son and say thank you, Jesus, for dying for me. Lord, I want to say thank you. Because I know that one of the greatest things you gave me is praise. Praise of thanksgiving that you put in my heart. I know you put it there if I wasn't there all the time. I know when I used to give my praise to Mama and Papa and my friends and Bob Marley. But no Lord, all my praise goes to you. You give me a praise of thanksgiving to show others so they can come to you and glorify you. This is our prayer. This is the way we're supposed to pray. Oh God. Praise the Lord, somebody. Praise the Lord, somebody. Lord, I thank you for showing me how you reach my heart. 
and you show me that praise is comely. Yes. Praise is lively. Yes, sir. Praise is pleasurable. Yes, sir. Praise is suitable. Yes, sir. Praise is the conforming of good appearance. Yes. So Lord, for all that you have given me, I thank you. For the all you have done for me, I thank you. For all you are doing for me, I thank you. For your love towards me and my family, I thank you. For what we are doing in my life and for what we are doing in this church and the church family, I thank you. I just want to live my life thanking the Lord. Lord, I lift my hands to you. And I say thank you. For loving me. So today we see that one of the greatest things are the way to reach the heart of God is through thanksgiving. Thanksgiving creates power in one's life that enables enable you to overcome any problem. So I'm calling all of God's children. Yes. Call all of you to seize the opportunity. Amen. Amen. By shouting. Yes. Giving thanks to God. Yes. To make a joyful noise. Thanks to the Lord. Yes. Seize the opportunity. Yes. To shout. Thanks to the Lord. With a, with a grateful heart. Yes. Seize the opportunity. Yes. Because you're not dumb. So hope you're more than praise God. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. We glorify you. As I see the opportunity. As a Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you. I appreciate your blessings to me. Lord, I really want to thank you for blessing my sister. Lord, I really want to thank you for blessing my brother. I want to thank you, Lord. Lord, with a grateful Lord, I thank you. With your joy in my heart, I thank you. With your peace of mind, I thank you. Lord, I love you. And my heart say thank you. Lord, with a grateful heart, I really do love you. Lord, for your forgiveness of sins, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for making what I am. Making me what I am, I thank you. And I want to thank you for all the children you put around me. And I want to thank all of you for putting up with me. I thank you, Lord, for gracing me with such lovely people. Oh, I thank you for accepting me as a teacher and your preacher. I thank you all of you for accepting me as your pastor. I love you with all my heart. I thank you for supporting my ministry. So we could go on YouTube. I thank you Lord for your people. I thank all of you that watch YouTube. I want you to know I love you. I want to take it personally that Pastor loves you. So once again, I thank you for your support. God bless you. And I hope the church, those of the church, those of you who want to go to heaven, and those of you who want to be a member of this church, Jesus gave me the right to invite you to come taste and see that the Lord is good. So please come. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord.
remember the church.